Right, joining us now to take a look at matters in the political arena, as uh, is, of course, the former governor of Jigawa State, Ibrahim Saminu Turaki. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on News Night tonight. Thank you very much. Well, let's start with the National Security Advisor's warning, stern and strong warning to politicians that if they don't, you know, rein <laughs> in the tendency to be violent, towards the election, during the election, or, and even after, a very, very stringent measures, uh, you know, will be meted out on politicians. And you laugh as I ask that question. Yeah, like, because, it, because it's funny. How? In, the, in democracy or in the military uh, rule, and in democracy, election is uh, local. Uh, you just saw America, uh, and Nigeria is even worse. Uh, yesterday I was watching when I arrived, I was watching uh, my friend, the former governor of CBN, governor of Anambra State. And he was trying to say this is his program for Anambra State. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and he's Abga, but uh, very good economist. And so it's funny because uh, election is good, mm -hmm. but el election reflects the society. If the society feels election is their first priority, they will protect. Uh, whatever assets are there so that there are people who can come to power. Mm. If the society believes that election does not reflect who they are voting for, what they are voting for, does it put, does it give them security? Does it put food on the table? Does it help their children go to school? Uh, is there health care or good housing? Uh, then uh, uh, they will protect uh, that. But when you see violence going towards election, it means either the government of the day in that particular area or uh, the opposition are involved. But mostly, it's when the government of the day is losing power, you start seeing violence before election. Uh, so I'm not from Ogun State, so I, I don't know what happened. But that is the usual thing. People protect what they believe in. Remember in 2015, uh, when President uh, Bahari was elected, he was an opposition candidate. Right. And uh, I remember in t uh, earlier on, in t uh, four years earlier, 2011, 2011. Yes, there was a lot of violence uh, in the north. Uh, I remember uh, I was going to Abuja, I was driving, uh, and in Kaduna, you even had to get, there was a canal from Daura, which is our area, uh, had to escort me to, to leave Kaduna. And I, I saw a bust for, of people from Sokoto that were burnt by, at Gora. So uh, I think a national security advisor, I think, is, is wrong. Uh, what you should do is to call the meeting of the society, find out what happened. I, I, people talk on the television, uh, what can you do? How many soldiers are there or, or how many police? When people are being kidnapped and other things. I think that the most important thing is to work with the local society. Let them have a belonging. Uh, let people b believe that this democracy is for them. Uh, but is that the job of the National Security Advisor or the job of politicians who have been elected to office to uh, deliver mm -hmm. on the promises of their campaigns what we like to call dividends of democracy in this part of the world? And, you know, there is a notion that is popularly shared that violence is sponsored and supported by the political elites because the poor people cannot afford to even create this violence in the first place. So it's politicians that are accused of citing, inciting this violence. Don't you agree? No, I don't. So you, are uh, you saying uh, the poor people are the ones destroying INEC offices uh, and uh, causing uh, mayhem during you, campaign you rallies? See, there are three areas. One is that a lot of drugs. I saw youth, you know, taking uh, uh, tramadol and others, mm -hmm. which I think government can control that. Mm -hmm. So if I want you was telling me that when they take the drug, they will now put fire on their body, mm -hmm. and then if it doesn't burn them, then it's good. And they tried it on a horse, and the horse died. So uh, drugs, uh, drugs uh, with the youth, uh, lack of, uh, if uh, sometimes I have seen that if the young people are getting more money than their parents as political thugs, so that incl that uh, will incentivize uh, yes incentivize them to to do violence. Political thugs getting money from who? 
the politician. The politician. The politician. No, I'll give you an example. In right. 20, 2003, I remember we went to my degree, 2002, and Atiku Abok was vice president, and Ali Sharif was fighting with the governor, then Mala. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, uh, and then uh, the, the, he was complaining, he said the Kanuri people are very, uh, you know, once you touch them, there will be violence. And, uh, and that uh, if you not give them guns, then it's a problem. And that's how Boko Haram came into being. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, now the Fulani hats, uh, as you say, uh, they, they use stick, you know, they, they move around. Right. Uh, uh, yes, but I think in Zampara or somewhere they were brought into politics. And then after the election, they were allow allowed to go with guns. And this is how the insecurities... Yeah, and when you say they were brought into politics, yes. I mean, who would have okay. brought them into politics? Is it not the politicians? The point is... Uh, who, are the, who, who are the politicians? It's like the politicians are taking advantage of this but, vulnerabilities. But I, I, I have a question for you. Yes. You see, people make mistakes. Okay, uh, if I, I have a first class lesson in actuarial science or in, in, in engineering or somewhere... Mm -hmm. If I'm elected in to, to the National Assembly or governor, you say you're a politician. Mm -hmm. Then the person of my classman who is not elected is a technocrat. Mm -hmm. So I think politicians, <laughs> it, it's a misnomer, it's people who are in the office. Mm -hmm. uh, the common denominator is, mm -hmm. are you happy with me or not? Right. And I remember what uh, late Umaru Shinkafi, may Sol, you know, he was a security man. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, there was violence in northern Nigeria then where UMBC, which is uh, uh, Joseph Taka. And, and he, uh, Sadona was his father's friend and he was the ADC to Amade Bello. So he sent him to go and find out. And what he found out was that the NPC in Benue province didn't want people from UMBC mm -hmm. to be part of the government. As a Northern People's Congress. Uh, Congress. Yeah. Uh, because uh, it was Northern Nigeria who, who was mm -hmm. ruled by that. So mm -hmm. he reported to Amade Bello and there was a meeting with J.S. Taka and later, you know, just like, I mean, what did it MPN? Uh -huh. right. uh, so where people are not ready to share, politics is about sharing resources, allocating resources. So when one must say, I, like Napoleon, I take more. But, yeah. <laughs> so what you're saying is yes. politics, as far as this environment is concerned, is not yes. really about the equitable distribution of, resources. you know, of resources, of wealth for the people, in the interest of the people, but it is in the interest of, of, the, of a few, of the politicians. It, it, and that's what drives I, I violence? Is that, that what you're saying? Politicians, people in government, don't use that. Oh, OK. Yes. OK, so uh, let's move away from that uh, particular issue of the insecurity we are having as we move to elections or the violence we have seen. Um, are you still a member of the PDP, an active member of the PDP? Yes, I'm contesting for Senate. Senate, right. great. Yes, in Jigawa. Fantastic, mm. fantastic. Mm. But I wanted to ask you about general politics. Yes. Uh, I was in the Senate before. Great. I, I know that. Mm. I just wanted to be sure that, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. you know, participating in these coming elections. Yes. We have been used to two harsh races yes. in the past when it comes to our presidential election. Mm. But now we seem to have more people in the, in the race and front runners specifically. Some will say there are three, it's a three horse race, some will say it's a four horse race. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think? Do you still think that we are in that era of a two horse race? The PDP, your party, and the current governing or progressive Congress? Or do you agree with those who say this has, we have left the era of a two horse race with mm -hmm. the likes of a Peter Obi as the presidential candidate of the Labour Party and a Kwon Kwon So of the NNPP? Okay, uh, you see, in 1979, there were five parties. Oh, right. In, uh, during the time of uh, uh, First Republic, you have Mumbe People's Congress winning seat in Taraba, and the, the minister was brought back. He was given ministerial position, and he joined MPC. So you had Borno People's Movement. You have, I mean, the kind of, of course, Nepal even came before MPC mm. in 1954. Nepal was formed before NPC. So uh, Nigeria had never had two people running for president, never. Uh, but front runners. Uh, but the front runners are still two. Uh, okay. th they are not three or four; they are two. But each one is taking vote from the other. I give you an example. Who are those two? Uh, uh, specifically? Uh, let's uh, uh, is, uh, I just let's take the two that are not the front runners first. Right. Okay. Uh, let's take uh, Labour Party. Do you know that? Uh, from what Anik had had uh, 
uh, had uh, release. release. Mm. Uh, there are nine states. They have no candidates in Borno, Ekiti, Kasina, Kebbi, and Lagos, surprisingly. Uh, and they don't, Labour has one candidate out of three in Bayelsa, Delta, Jigawa, Ondo, and Yobe. Uh, the party has two of the three I'm just taking a senatorial seat, Bochi, Kogi, Neja, and Sokoto states. So even NNP, which is Konkoso, uh, has more candidates actually running for election than even Labour Party. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way I see it is, uh, you, you have any vote going to Peter Obi mm. is a vote against PDP. Any vote going to Concourse is a vote against APC uh, uh, before. Uh, but what complicates matters now is mm -hmm. regional politics now is coming back or ethnic or tribal and religious politics. Mm -hmm. right. yes. So, for example, uh, if I were Bola Tunubu, for example, mm -hmm. uh, my friend, my colleague, we, we were governors together. Now he chose from the Borno enclave. Running mm. mate. Uh, running running mate. Mate. Mm. Okay, in Borno State, 40% of Borno is the southern Borno, which has also a large s segment, like, you know, by Chibos girls, of Christians mm -hmm. right. and other minorities that had never been allowed by the Canudos to be governors in Borno, which means 40% of Borno is out. If you take uh, Yobe, there are a lot of uh, minorities, including even the Senate President is a minority in Yobe. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So they will vote for another candidate. Now, now uh, so, uh, which means North Wales with 24% of the national vote is not represented on the ticket of uh, APC. So it's from, it's a Kanuri and Yoruba ticket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is, uh, which means that they don't have the national spread. spread. So what you're oh, saying, uh, if I get you correctly, yes. are you saying that in the North, Yes. specifically, yes. that the Hausa Fulani will not vote a Kanuri? Well, you had the Sokoto Caliphate uh, from Bochi. Remember there was a war between Bochi mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and because in Borno, before the Fulani almost overrun Borno with Goni Mikhtar, then El Kanemi came and El Kanemi's ambition was to conquer Kanu. I remember the fight around Duse, around Jigawa State and how Emir of Bochi, Yakubu, fought against the Kanuris. Uh, so, but in the area we have Kanuris. Uh, my grandmother from Fasa is Kanuri, but but the issue is, mm. is uh, the House of Fulani people will vote for one of them. The Yorubas, from the argument of Afeni Pere, with all respect to Adeba and Joe, ninety percent. Uh, Tunubu is a colleague. He's a Muslim, married to a Christian. Mm. So I even expect some Shakiri will vote for him, but. The uh, no matter what you say, the Southwest will vote for Tunumbu. So let's talk so about what, party. what will the mm -hmm. North? Let's still stay on this. Please. Yes. What will be the position of the North on Peter Obi, for example, who is Southeast? Mm. Are you saying with this ethnic, religious, you know, where tendencies rearing their head, that it may play out very seriously, as far as Peter Obi is concerned? No, I think Peter Obi's problem is from Southeast. Uh, because yesterday I saw what uh, 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 Soludu was saying. He, he stopped short of saying that Peter Obey had not done anything for Anambra. He even said the investment is, is neither, neither here nor there. It was just on your inter interview. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. so, so his problem is start from South is actually. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, he, you know, he may be good on television, uh, but it's different from deliverance. And uh, I remember our last tenure, Peter Abbey was a governor with us. Mm -hmm. and, and okay, uh, well, you know, some people are arguing that, okay, if you say, uh, APC supporters are saying, okay, if you say Peter Abbey is very good, uh, why is Anambara not as good as Lagos? That's what the number people are saying. Uh, so I think Nigeria is hungry for change, mm -hmm. but I have not seen the Messiah. Mm -hmm. uh, so out of all the out of all Exactly. You, you see, for me, I said all of them made mistakes. If I were, uh, I think he was, he was a very good man for me. And I remember I went to the village. He, he had empowered 25,000 45, women 
with credit. And, and uh, we're in his village, he had five million naira for his school, made in primary school. So he takes care of their children's school, and then later he builds schools for them, even before he became vice president. And he had continued to that. And if their children are married, they take them to Dubai. People, most of them have died. So which means he has, in his area, you know, in his own way, he's helping his people. Mm -hmm. and, but if I were uh, him, Atiku, yeah. Atiku uh, I think he's a very, a very good politician. I remember, I remember with Abiola and other, and I had this argument with Eradua when he said, he said Abiola will, will confess, uh, Atiku will, no, Atiku will confess Abiola second King Gibi first. I said, no, the younger people vote for King Gibi, so it will be King Gibi versus Abiola. And that is what happened. Eradua uh, let you, I didn't believe him. He said, a young man. You so are. how do you think people uh, so, have so, voted? So, yeah, so, I, so, I so, 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 so uh, now, uh, no matter how bad, Mm -hmm. That is why uh, Hope 92, because the young governors, the younger people wanted King Gibi. Yeah. So the party leaders, Abu and others, wanted Abiola. Mm -hmm. So what the, the elders, so what they did was the two tickets were combined. So no matter how bad Wiki was, if uh, Atiku had taken Wiki as a running mate, it would have been a walkover for PDP. Okay. So he made the same mistake that Tunumu made. Uh -huh. uh, so, so, so it means that uh, the two major parties are going to have crisis. They will lose many states that they don't expect to lose. And who is going or, to take ordinary. advantage? Who will take advantage of the mistakes made by these two front runners? Uh -huh. uh, yes. So that's why I said Peter Obi okay. and Ravi Konkoso, uh, 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 because they are the next group. Mm. Uh, Ravi was hoping that uh, both APC and PDP would come with a southern candidate. Mm then he'll be the sole northern candidate. Unfortunately, PDP came up with Atiku. So that knocked him off his pedestal. But he will win Kano Municipal, which is 40-45%. Kano is the largest state in vote. So maybe he get one million or two million from Kano. But, but like I mean, Kano did. Uh, but I think it will end there. He, he will get votes in pockets of vote in many yeah. states. And yeah. in, like in Katsina now, mm. Katsina people have chosen on their own to fight, they don't want to hear APC. I've seen a lot of rallies, a, 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 a lot of things. So the beneficiary should be PDP in Katsina. Okay, but, 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 but PDP in Katsina, uh -huh. now two of them are fighting, even though now they say they have settled. So that could open gap for... for and I want for us to contextualize this, uh, former governor, because yes. the constitution is clear, the conditions to declare a winner uh, yes. president in Nigeria. Yeah. First, you must win majority votes. Mm. And I, I, I'm asking this because of the calculations you have made based on your own uh, findings. You have to first win majority and second, you have to win 25% uh, of votes into third state. That's about 24 states. 24 and, out of yes. yes. So with all these calculations you have made, mm. who will fit that bill? Or do you foresee us going for a runoff? But even if you go for runoff, the, the two candidates will go for runoff. Which mm. two candidates do you think will APC go for APC and PDP. Oh. So you okay, still maintain that we're in a two-horse race. Uh, yes, uh, but the problem, I don't know who is advising, mm. uh, because nobody asked me. Because if I were the president now, if I'm supporting my party, mm -hmm. I will not resign NERA now. Because they are going to lose 45% of their vote in most northern states. Because people that buy commodities, Mm. They don't even, uh, you know, they go to banks only to take cash. Like now, uh, sesame seed, for example, mm. they buy, they export. Last year, 250,000, now it's 1.7 million. F food stop, um, in fact, yes, today, Friday, most in my mm -hmm. village, yeah. in my hometown, in Kazauri, which should mm -hmm. have been ordinary, Bahari's area, APC area. The Hutuba on Friday, most was, the cost of living is too high. What we were buying last month at 500, now is 1,000. That is what they did in the most mosque now, right. are talking about high cost of living. That would destroy whatever credibility or what APC has in the north. Yeah, but, but according to you, yes. in spite of this prevailing situation, yes. you know, uh, high cost of living, uh, rising poverty, yes. and all of that, and that Nigerians, insecurity of course, that Nigerians are not necessarily ready to punish the APC. Because what you're saying to the question of who will no, be no, no, the no, two no, no, major... No. It depends on the states. You're, you are still narrowing it down to APC and, and the PDP. Yes, because I, I just showed you 
Labour Party they don't even have candidates, no vote, no... Right. Uh, uh, and that will work against uh, them. Yes. Uh, uh, even NMP, uh, you know, so so election, no matter how much you want to do election, I remember what President Buhari was doing, he said, okay, uh, in Hausa, Ataya, Araka, Akasa, uh, which means after the vote you stay, until the vote has been counted, you follow the electoral officer to where the vote is taken, you wait until the result has been declared. And, and you know, he was accused of doing that. Uh, that was what led to the violence in 2011. 2011. Yes, I, I remember what Jonathan was saying. But uh, so, uh, so the issue is, uh, I, I can tell you in my area, mm -hmm. uh, some people, uh, okay, uh, let, 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 let's take Kebi, for example. The governor of Kebi had done 80 billion or with all every 300 billion for rice farmers. So which means if in Kebi had made a lot of money from rice, and they're happy. Because they are living from poverty now, they are rich, mm. producing rice. But in our area, we are at the border. So people bring on rice, one bag of rice, and then the cousin will shoot that young man near my farm, I had 20 grapes. And they call them rice grapes. So how do you think, which means their parents, their wives, their children, had been killed, especially and this, because we are near Kanda. Mm. This is predominantly in Kanda, so all those local governments at the border of Niger in Kanda, Jiga will not vote for APC, definitely. Okay. Uh, so because uh, young people were shot, the custom could have seized it, but they were shot. Okay. Uh, so so a lot of orphans. So, so that's why I say every every place is local. Right. Yeah, politics is local. So it will depend on their, you know, different experiences and all of that. But yeah, let's very, very quickly, before we let you go, we have some five minutes more. Mm -hmm. The PDP crisis, yes. Wike versus Atiku and the G5, yes. you know, and all of that. And the issue, the doubling down on how you must go. Yes. What are you, I mean, what role are you playing now to no, reconcile, no, no, for are me, you playing any uh, role for, uh, to reconcile both no. parties? Do you have hope that there will be reconciliation? No, no, I, I think deliberately. I mean, if I am at Yuku, I'll let them go. Oh, you know why? Why? Because how South Flying in Northerners are feeling okay because he's one of us, these people are against him. So, so now this is driving, uh, this is driving. PDP vote in northern Nigeria. When, they was, when the Christian North was shouting against Muslim Muslim ticket, it was helping Bola Tinumbu. Uh, uh, because uh, 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 so you would, but then you expect that the Christian vote now will go to Atiku, who had produced a Christian in Adamawa, uh, Boni Haruna, and a Christian in uh, Taraba, uh, Joli Inyami. Who was his deputy before the two state or uh, uh, split? But the Catholic will go for Peter Obi because he's Catholic also. So, but while they were losing that, uh, Tenubu was getting more votes from the Muslims. Uh, so, but then when it died down, now uh, uh, Uche continued. So, and now this is driving APC, uh, PDP votes in Northwest, which is 22% of, don't be surprised if the whole of Northwest becomes, uh, the votes Buhari was getting will go to Atiku Awarke, being a Fulani Hausa from the Caliphate area. Uh, so the more fit, Peter, uh, the more Wike does that, mm -hmm. the more it is helping Atiku Awarke. Mm -hmm. Because Wike has, uh, has senatorial candidates. The governor candidate is his, is his uh, accountant general. So no matter how much he doesn't want to do PDP, or the worst he can do is to say, okay, instead of everybody's giving one million, one point something million vote to Atiku, mm. Atiku get only. Uh, some people uh, will say that you know, there will be a lot of dent in your analysis with yes. a Kwan Kwan So, who is also saying a lot of those votes from the uh, you know traditional votes going to President Muhammad Buhari will come to him. Yeah. But very well, quickly, well, wait, wait, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. You are talking to the governor of Jigawa State. Mm -hmm. Jiga and Kano are the same state. Mm -hmm. Me and Kong did first term together, mm -hmm. and he lost his second term. And I remember the whole argument was Mohamed Abacha was, was, was arrested by Obasanjo, and Kano people decided to punish PDP. Mm -hmm. uh, and I remember I had argument with President Obasanjo. He, I said, you, you won't get 20% in Kano. And he said, I, I took a work and said, I'm not telling the truth. 
uh, he didn't get 20%. So, 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 if you are talking to somebody, mm -hmm. Uh, but me, me, I'm also from the area. In other I words, what you're saying is that ethno-religious yes. sentiments will Without drive the, the 2023 election. Thank you. You're running for the Jigar well, Northwest Senatorial District. Yes. Why do you want to become a senator? Very quickly. <laughs> uh, because I see many things uh, had changed since we left office. Uh -huh. For us, the focus are on people, on technology, to some for a solution, yeah. uh, not on oil, uh, these resources, uh, using biotechnology and agriculture. Uh, that, that, that is the focus. Uh, and today the richest people in the world, uh, number one, is uh, Elon Musk, uh, who, who is technology right. in, in the car industry, mm -hmm. uh, Tesla. Uh, uh, number two, Bill Gates, you know, number three, uh, Jeff Bezos. We're all talking of technology. The first five, we're all talking of technology. So you're hoping to create your own Elon Musk and the Jeff Bezos? Uh, uh, yes, world? already. Because now, if, if you, you go to anywhere. Ibrahim, yes. Taraki, former governor of Jigawa, say thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. We do appreciate your yeah. time.